hello everyone thank you for joining us once again on the channel we'd like to say a very big welcome to you all if you are joining us for the very first time please do well to like share and subscribe to our channel now to all of our existing subscribers please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our post as they come your way thank you and god bless you now today we're going to be looking at the issue of insecurity in nigeria now that is one of the major issues that has plagued nigeria especially in the past year the backdrop of spiraling not just insecurity alone spiraling insecurity now 2022 was one eventful year in nigeria we saw how insecurity continued to spiral upwards and upwards it was not like at any point it seemed like at every point there was not going to be one day of rest for the nigerian people it got so bad that people were afraid to even leave their houses to travel from one point to the other because every part or every means of transportation was attacked we see the roads being attacked kidnappers the train stations being attacked it was only the um, airways that were still a bit safe but then it was quite expensive and then the common man couldn't just afford an airline ticket to be able to move from point to point now 2022 actually like i said was one eventful year there were actually some very horrifying events which took place in 2022 on this issue of insecurity um, in march we saw the terrorist um, attack on a passenger train which was um, en route Kaduna um, from abuja some passengers were killed and a lot more abducted and it took almost six months of negotiation and unconfirmed claims of um, payment of ransom before the last batch of 23 captives were released in october on june the 5th and we saw the Owa church attack where more than 30 people were murdered in another terrorist um, attack and so far no part of the country is actually exempt no part of the country has actually been exempted from this terrorist issue we see kidnappings all around the country we see um, the issues of cultism we see separatist violence in the southeast and all around the nation we see the farmers um, and elders issues that's happening mass abductions all around the country localized raids in different regions and community and Nigeria seems to be very unsafe now for the common man you see people do not nobody stays out late anymore you see some regions as early as five six o'clock shops and offices are being closed so people can go home so they, they do not fall victims to any of all these issues that we saw a lot of kidnappings on the highways um, Nigerians were actually scared to travel at some point everybody stayed in their location because they didn't know what to do and it seems like the security forces and the security agencies were not doing anything to actually curb the insecurity we were facing in we we're facing in the country because we still face it right now now on today's report we see that um president muhammadu buhari speaking on the insecurity has said that foreign powers are um, the ones behind Nigeria's um, insecurity. Well, we're going to go into the details in full and let's see what President Muhammad Buhari has to say um, again on this issue of insecurity. Um, President Muhammad Buhari has attributed Nigeria's insecurity problem to powerful countries bent on destroying Nigeria. Now, Buhari made the accession on Monday in Kano State at the presidential launch after his tour around the state to commission projects by the administration of Governor Ganduji. Now, according to him, one can clearly see how these foreign countries took on our weaker part of Nigeria. The Lake Chad, where we have reserves of crude oil, and cause serious mayhem there with consistent attacks. But for Governor Zulum, who is serious with his duty, 
The story of the area around Lake Chad would have been different by now, Buhari said. Now, the president reminded that in 2015, when he assumed office, only four of Borono's 17 local government areas were not in the hands of Boko Haram. And we are aware that people are using the insurgents who are fraudulent to cause problems. But today, most of these local government areas are free, he said. Now, the president added that those behind the insecurities knew that Borono was potentially a rich state. That was why when I was a governor there, I went to Niger, Chad, and even Cameroon because you need your neighbors to survive, he stated. Now, President Muhammad Buhari, who expressed happiness with Governor Gandhiji for the infrastructural development in Kano State, also commended the governors of Lagos State, Kaduna State, Katsina, and Kogi State for doing good in their respective states. The president also urged the elite to work on the education of the youths, saying that the lack of education among them is a problem. President Muhammadu Buhari also cracked a joke saying he has huge qualifications, including that of suffering and enjoyment, while reminding them that he was in prison and had contested the presidency on several occasions. Well, that is it on the details of today's report. And we can see that um, President Muhammad Dubuhari has said, and he is blaming foreign powers and foreign countries as the reason for the insecurity which we face in the country. Well, that is not the main issue. The main issue that Nigerians want to see, they don't want to know what is the cause or who is the cause. Nigerians want to see a solution. Nigerians are tired of always having someone to blame for the problem. Nigerians want a solution and not just a blame game and a blame trade to always be played. Now, if we know that foreign powers are, are behind the issue of insecurity in the country. Now, what has our government done? What has been done? What are the measures, the processes that have been put into place to actually combat all of all this insecurity that is being faced in the country? Now, enough of the blame game and enough of the um, blame trade. We put it on this. At some point, we know that uh, it was, at some point, it was blamed Jonathan for all of the issues of insecurity. Now, President Mahmoud is saying it's foreign parts. So what has our government done what has the nigerian government done to put into place to curb all of all this that is what the nigerian people want to know how this problem can be solved so people can live in peace once more and be able to go about their daily um life activities but well, that's all we can take on the details of today's report until we come your way please do well to stay safe bye bye